Okay, so we're gonna try to locate our uh, holes here. Let me clean this off. Here we go. We have one right there in the corner. At the bottom there, it's dripping. We never uh, checked that, but we filled the inside of the car with water. And then this, uh, shut the door. We got the whole inside filled, so we're using chalk to mark it. Yeah. But basically, this is coming out of the. Where's my finger? Oh, yeah, this is coming out of the floor. There's a hole I didn't find. Um, some of my welds are dripping. That's what pinholes can do. Water will find every pinhole. I rushed these. I just uh, run out of time. But I can say the quarter panels are not leaking. These two little drips oh, wait. here. I take that back. I do got two little drips here in the quarter. So I just got some pinholes here. Mm -hmm. um, this drip is a mount for the. Uh, There's actually a big hole, and that's for the bolt for the bumper. But um, you can see inside the bilge. We got the sucker filled up halfway up the transmission. Mm -hmm. um, there's only a strip coming from the plug, which is okay. Mm -hmm. just needs to and but the, all my welds down here are not leaking. I got right this here. weld here is leaking, and this uh, corner welds here are leaking. And then I have this here, somewhere down in here on the seam, there's a leak. And the water's coming up to the start, so I'm going to shut the water off. But as you can see, we flooded it. So, um, and then I marked all the parts here. This one's for the, under the floor. This one is that weld right there is leaking. This is the plate that I welded up against the edge. I mustn't have gotten it well. Couldn't see it. It was tired. It was late. Like one o'clock in the morning. That one leaked, obviously. So at least we found all the leaks. Um, we'll get this thing ground down, re-welded, and uh, there'll be no leaks. So that's where we're at.